Hello my besties, how are you? <laughs> if you watch my hot cocoa bar, you already know how I make this awning. This is just one dollar item from a Dollar Tree. And in today's video, I have even more fun projects for you, for all the candy and donut lovers out there. <laughs> and uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, it really helps me grow my channel. Also, if you subscribe to my channel, you will be notified next time I upload a new video. This way you don't miss any fun projects on the budget we have here, all right? So let's get started. So here's the peek at my cocoa bar for those who haven't seen it. Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times so the possibilities are endless for any season. Feel free to look up that video for some more inspiration ideas. And today we are going the sweet donut shop route. I got my Dollar Tree donut scarf pressed. Look how pretty it looks. I'm ready, let's get started. <laughs> First, we're gonna make an awning and that's so easy. All you need is that trifold from the Dollar Tree, some painter's tape that you can also get there and a bottle of favorite paint. Walmart's got a better deal on paint, only 50 cents a bottle, but they didn't have light pink that I wanted, so I wind up mixing. Also, you're gonna need a small plate or a saucer. I'm gonna open up my trifold, work on the white side, use the saucer to trace around its shape and create a scalloped edge on one side. Next, we are going to use the tape to mark the stripes across the board. And we're only going to paint the pink stripes. So starting with pink first. And you can use a white sponge brush from Dollar Tree for faster painting. And like I said, I'm just painting the pink stripes, which makes it so much easier and faster. So I thought that pure pink shade was a little bit too dark. So then I went back with my other pink and mixed with white. And at that point I was just annoyed. <laughs> so I wasn't so exact, but I didn't even care. I figured it's gonna be that weathered look. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> so as it dried, I removed the tape and then cut along the scalloped edge. And then I had to paint on the other side as well because I knew from the last time that this would be showing. And then I sprayed the whole thing with the glitter spray. I think it gives a little bit distraction from my imperfections. <laughs> and then we're gonna take a large ruler or piece of molding to bend over a small piece at the top, that's for installing to the wall, and a larger piece at the bottom and create that awning shape. Isn't that great? Do you like it? <laughs> please give me thumbs up if you do. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so because there's so many more creative ideas on a budget coming up and you don't wanna miss them. So this is where we're gonna hang my awning. It's on this small wall next to the staircase. I don't have the railing yet. So you don't need much space, but you need a small table there as well. And we're gonna create a wall out of the Dollar Tree foam boards. We're gonna put them up this way, underneath the awning. So last time we had the gingerbread wall. This time we're going fancy with the backsplash. <laughs> I chose the subway tile sticker from the Dollar Tree. They have four different design choices for you. First, I had glue both foam boards together. And then I see how I can lay down this tile. <laughs> and unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut it. <laughs> Cutting tile makes it a little bit more complicated than I thought. Uh, of course, this way would be ideal, right? So easy, just stick it on, but subway tile doesn't go up and down like that. It's gotta be across. 
So as I start in the corner and start peeling it off, I see that it gets wrinkled. So I call my husband for a second set of hands. <laughs> I really think one person should be pulling it and another smoothing it out, makes it easier that way. And here we have to connect the second sheet. And as you can see, it starts with a half a tile, like with the grout. So I have to cut that off uh, in order to match it perfectly. And then again, as we stick this on, I'm pulling it back and my husband helps me smooth it out. You are going to have some excess at the bottom, which you can just fold it over. So how did we do? Well, it's not perfection, but it's the best we could do with that cheap sticker tile. I think it's cute. The only thing that I don't have enough to cover the rest of the foam board. This is all I have left and my Dollar Tree didn't have more. So I'm going to have to just cut off the excess foam board. Another option would be getting the square plastic tiles from the Dollar Tree. Easier to install, but higher cost, probably $8 versus two. And now that I check with my owning, it's a little bit too white, which is okay. I wanna get rid of the white stripe anyway. I rather it start and end with pink. So I think it works out for the best. And this is how we are gonna glue it together. Oh, I love it together. This is how we are gonna hang it right there. But that's not everything. I have one more idea for you. We're going to take Dollar Tree wooden dowels. We're going to cut each in three. And yes, you guessed it. We're going to make a donut wall. The cheapest donut wall I could find online was from Oriental Trading, $20. We're going to spend around $6 and it's going to be so much better and with the awning. How about that? So first we're going to space out our dowels, every two tiles, four in a row. Next I'm going to take my piercing tool and a screwdriver to make the holes. By the way, I did a total review of all my DIY tools in the last video. It's worth checking out if you haven't seen it yet. Use a piece of wood or a book to lift up your wall and then pierce the hole everywhere where you want to install the dowel. First pierce with your piercing tool through the sticker and then drill a hole in the foam board with your screwdriver. Don't make a hole too big, too loose, because you don't want your dowel to just fall through it. You just want it a tight fit. And repeat those steps all across. Second row, make sure you leave enough space for the donut. And I'm working with the real thing over here. <laughs> and needless to say, I did wipe down the surface, make sure it's clean and continue across. And the third row now, just make sure we have enough space, nice even space in between the rows. And we continue all across, we're going to have 12 hangers, three rows of four. Okay, now we're going to reinforce all these dowels from the back. I cut little squares of foam board. I indented a little hole in the middle of each piece and then I'm going to add some hot glue in the hole and all around each square and glue it in the back of each dowel, just like that. Next, I'm going to use two bamboo skewers, paint them gray to match my grout and use them to lift up the canopy. I use a piercing tool again to uh, make a hole to insert the skewer and then hot glue to attach it there and to the top.
same thing on the other side. Next, we are going to run a wire all across the back. Use hot glue to attach it there and cover it with a piece of foam, just like so. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other end. And that's gonna be our hanger. Okay, let's hang it and let's test it out. <laughs> so these towels are long. We could easily hang two donuts on each. So we could fit from 12 to 24 donuts on this wall. Oh my goodness, look how cute this looks. <laughs> One donut a day and everything's gonna be okay. So you see, one donut a day is going to make everything okay. <laughs> we tested, it works, and now I'm just doing a wipe down and I want to show you some decorating ideas. For example, you can hang some donut ornaments on your wall. I recently got these three for two dollars at a Christmas tree shop. I know Walmart had these for 99 cents during Christmas time. I think Hobby Lobby sells them. All I do is just cut off the hanger and hang them like a regular donut. <laughs> Isn't that a great solution in between the parties? Another great option would be to use those Dollar Tree donut trinkets. I got these a while ago. I hope they're gonna have them again, uh, but they're just so cute. You know, I would just glue them on the inside so they don't open up and hang them on the wall. Today, we're gonna use one of these to make a sign for our donut station. And for the base, we're gonna use one of the long signs from the Dollar Tree. I hate to sacrifice my adorable elf, but I didn't get to use him. Hopefully they are gonna have these signs back. They always have long signs for every season, so you shouldn't have problem finding one. And to make it easy, I got the letters at Walmart, $1 each. Here's the barcode if you wanna get them online. I didn't get letter O because I'm gonna use the donut, but if you don't have a donut, you can get an O and then paint it with sprinkles, okay? Remove the hanger and paint your sign. You're gonna need a couple coats to cover the brown background. Next, paint the letters. And I love the distressed look, so I'm gonna leave it at one coat. I want the sign to dry flat, so I put something heavy on it. And then I decided to add some beads around the border of the sign to create some interest. Next, I decided to paint the beads the same color as the background. And then I touched up just the tips of the beads with yellow for some contrast. If you have patience or if kids want to help, you might want to paint each bead a different color and create some cute colorful patterns like sprinkles all across. That would be cute too. All right, let's put this together. Cute or what? Just make sure the edges are painted of your letters. Space these out nicely and then use Gorilla Glue Sticks to attach these. And you're gonna notice that I'm using my fingertip protectors uh, to keep the same spacing everywhere. Oh, and I love the outcome. Doesn't it have the vintage feel? I think so. And then we're gonna do a wire hanger across in the back just how we did with the awning. Are you ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Look at that total cuteness. Oh, by the way, have you seen this video? 
I made a donut swag reef out of mostly Dollar Tree items, and it was just so big and fabulous. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. For decorating the table, you can find many adorable pieces in the Sweets Fairy Garden at your local Dollar Tree. I created a centerpiece with many of these, and thank you so much for all the wonderful comments and likes that you sent me. I don't have everything they have on their website, but just recently I found this cute cake shop. I'm so excited to add it to my collection. I also found these conversation heart stickers at a store called Dollar Zone. So I'm so excited to add these. Actually, I'm having my daughter and her friend help me stick these on our glass table. To cover the table, I'm gonna use these placemats, $1.49 at Christmas Tree Shop. My tea kettle and coffee maker has to stay here. And let me just add my ice cream cup over here. So today my daughter is turning 12, so I got some more donuts. Let me show you how the centerpiece looks here. Oh, and that little cupcake sign is also a Dollar Tree DIY. You can look it up in this video if you haven't seen it yet. I didn't get to use these long leg marshmallows this Christmas. I got them at the Family Dollar. And I want to try, the color is perfect here, so I'm going to create like a border around my donut wall. What do you think? I think they're going to harden with time and they're going to look good here. I almost wish I had an extra pack to complete all the way to the top. Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to have an Easter version soon. Please comment uh, down below and let me know, have you seen these around before? We had some Dollar Tree marshmallows left over and they were exact same colors. What my daughter and her friend did was chop off the hat from the snowman, put it on top of the Christmas tree in the cupcake liner and we got perfect little cupcakes. <laughs> so I glued these to the top of my marshmallow border. I think it's a good solution for now. What do you think? Oh, I found the second ice cream cup. I'm gonna put it here for now. I got these at a Christmas tree shop last summer and these are from Target for $1. I'm thinking this would be a cute ice cream bar over here in the summer, don't you think? <laughs> I got some sweets for my daughter's birthday. Let me show you how I'm gonna decorate with these. I found some most adorable lollipops at a Dollar Tree and the cat and candy. Um, these cute fries, uh, fries before guys, I found at Target, they were $2. They have some adorable containers now and buckets. I could use these, you know, for other seasons as well. Some hearts candies and Hershey Kisses. Uh, right now they have Oreos in the pink color and all the cute, you know, meringues and some cupcakes I didn't get to bake. So I just bought some already made. And then I found these adorable pigs uh, from Dylan's Candy at a Dollar Tree. Look how cute. They look like lollipops and even adorable liners I could use for the future. So I just decided to decorate these. Another must-have are the birthday cake pops from Starbucks. Kids just love these, but the price is high and it really adds up. So you know what? I have a secret recipe. Would you like to find out? Vanilla cake, pink chocolatey coating, white sprinkles. No, I don't make the vanilla cake. I buy the donut holes. They're ready made for you. All you have to do is melt your chocolate in a microwave. Next, dip the lollipop stick in chocolate and insert it into a donut hole. Repeat the same steps with all of them and then leave them to harden for about 10 minutes. 
it's very important to wait. Otherwise, when you dip them in chocolates, they're gonna fall right off. So wait for them to harden. And in the meantime, keep your chocolate hot. So put it in a bowl of hot water. That way it won't harden. I have one more trick when working with chocolate. I like to mix in just a little bit of Crisco. You see this consistency, how runny it is? It's perfect for dipping. It's gonna come out beautiful and smooth. Same with strawberries. Whenever I dip my strawberries, people ask me if they're store-bought. They cannot believe it, I make it myself. That's the trick, my besties. All right, these babies are ready for dipping. You see how smooth? Even those donut holes are not perfectly shaped. Chocolate is smooth. And then you gently tap on your sprinkle shaker and ta-da, leave it out to dry. I just have this piece of styrofoam that I always use, just wrapped in a wrapping paper. You see how easy and quick that is? And so much cheaper than store-bought. I guarantee they would be a hit at any party. All right, let's set the sweet table. I'm gonna use this white tear tray. I got it at Target last year for $5, but I know they have these back now for Valentine's. So I'm gonna put all the little candies in those small jars that I got from the Dollar Tree. Of course, you can use any little jars that you have. I just bought these because three for a dollar was a great deal and they're gonna fit perfectly on that tray. And let's always remember to wash and dry these containers well before adding any food. Next, I wanna display those french fries. They're a bit too big, so I have to rearrange. You know, just play around with the placement. Got my cotton candy here. I love it. And maybe I could incorporate some of these fairy garden pieces here as well. Next, I'm going to add a piece of a pool noodle to the bucket, and that will help me hold the lollipops in place. Oh, I wish they didn't have these big stickers. I'm just going to remove the foil on this one. So much prettier without it. Uh, these I'm going to leave. and just fill in the small ones all around. I'll just squeeze the uh, cupcakes together and make some room for the lollipops right here. I love these trays from the Dollar Tree, perfect for a new occasion. I always put goldfish in a fish bowl.
I wash these candle holders and they make perfect donut or cupcake stands, don't you think? One note in a day and everything's gonna be okay. my besties so this is it for today i hope you had enjoyed this video if you did please give me thumbs up that really helps me grow my channel and also if you're not subscribed yet please hit that red button and the little bell that way youtube will notify you every time i upload a new video okay <laughs> take care my besties see you next time bye bye